Всем привет! Это немного запоздало видео по DLC из пепла для Kingdom Come Deliverance. Наверняка вы уже слышали о его выходе и возможно думаете стоит ли его приобретать, а может быть уже и приобрели. Попробуем разобраться что же это за дополнение получилось. Это видео представлено как обзор прохождения этого дополнения, вдруг вам не хочется тратить деньги, а по быстрому охоту посмотреть что здесь интересно. В стиме ценник довольно привлекательный, целых 259 рублей, но контента в нем как раз таки на эту сумму и не на рубль больше. Если вы уже прошли игру и только установили это дополнение, то у вас скорее всего появилась проблема, как же его запустить, с чего начать. Ведь в тексте было четко написано, что в Тальмберге вы сможете найти ответ на свой вопрос, но придя туда, вы увидите лишь это. Решения проблемы здесь нет. На самом деле у многих была проблема, когда в эпилоге невозможно было завершить игру и собаку, как это было у меня. А дополнение активируется после разговора с паном Дивишем. Поэтому идем к пану Птачек и смотрим катсцену длиной в минут 10. Ну или не смотрим. После нее вам также не получится взять квест. Идем за паном Птачком во двор. Говорим с ним и едем по дороге до лагеря. Бак все же починили и я наконец увидел концовку основной игры. Спустя пять месяцев после ее прохождения. Let's get to it then. I finally have the feeling we're doing something worthwhile. We're helping to save the king. Instead of saving his drunken majesty, I'd rather find that horse who murdered my parents. Get the sword back from him and skewer him with it. Cheer up, Henry. I have a feeling you'll get your chance one day. And it won't be long in coming. Forward, men! Oh, dentist Fortuna, you man! Но вернемся к дополнению. Молодой пан теперь будет покорно ждать вас в лагере и вы теперь сможете спокойно заняться своими делами. Возвращаемся к пану Дивишу и получаем новое заветное задание. My locator, Marius. What's a locator? A land allocator. I charged him with checking on the condition of the settlement to see if we can start rebuilding it. You're planning to resettle the village? Yes. Why Pribislavitz of all places? Because it's been lying fallow and falling into ruin since it was sacked by Havel Medic years ago. It's about time that changed. Well, it should be safe there now. We trounced that rabble on the battlefield. Yes, and that's why I sent my master locator there. However, he should have been back long since. If you've no objection, I could go and look for him. I'd appreciate that. He probably just got delayed. But I'd be happier if you checked it out. Нам нужно спасти землемера. Отправляемся в Прибыславицу, где и будет наше будущее поселение. Находим здесь разбойников и говорим с одним из них. Можно их запугать, если достаточно высокий навык, и все закончится быстро, а можно сразиться. Разницы здесь никакой. So, it's all clear to me now. What is? Who are you? You've no business here. I'm Henry. And I was expecting to find you here. What? How could you? So Divish's locator went missing around these parts. Well, it seems like he's all out of luck, don't it? 
Divish ought have sent someone better than you to parlay. He didn't send me to parley. He sent me to deal with it. Deal with it? There's plenty of us, and you're on your own. So I think twice about how you're going to deal with that. Trust me. I used to be a butcher. You were better off with a flail or a mace than an axe. Let him go, right now. Or you can stay here and feed the crows, like the rabble who were here before you. All right, all right. No need to be hasty, eh? We'll be on our way then, quietly. That fellow's in the tent over there. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. Sir Divish sent me to find you. And it looks like I arrived just in time. God's truth. I'm Henry of Scalis. My name is Marius Bielek, Master Locator. Sir Divish sent me here to survey the area. Well, the outlaws are out of the way, so we can go and report to him, right? Not just yet. Those bastards caught me as soon as I arrived. And so far, all I've seen is the inside of the tent they tied me up in. I still have a job to do. Come along with me, if you like. We'll report to Sir Divish afterwards. I'll escort you, then. At least I can make sure you don't get caught again. What? Are there more of those bandits around? No, no, I, I just meant... Never mind. Should we get going? Если вы решили сопровождать Мариуса, то приготовьтесь к детальному осмотру местности. So, Master Locator, ready to start building? There's a long way to go before that. The few ruins that are left are basically beyond repair. It's all overgrown with brush. Oh dear. We'll have to get it all cleared before we can start rebuilding it. So it is possible to rebuild everything? Yes, absolutely. But building a whole village is no small enterprise. Hmm. We'll need timber, lots of it. Which isn't a problem in the middle of the woods, of course. We'll have to hire wage labor to begin with. Quite a lot of men. Hmm. Hmm. I think we should get started without delay. There's a lot of work involved, but it'll be well worth the effort. I can just imagine it. The church will dominate the whole settlement. Oh, that's good news. When will you inform Sir Divis? Why wait? I'll head to Townberg right away. But would you keep an eye on things here in the meantime? It would be rather embarrassing to run into more bandits when I return with Sir Divish. No problem. I'll be right here. It shouldn't take us long. My lord, welcome to Pribislavitz. That is to say, welcome back to Pribislavitz after all these years. Well... 
what's left of it. Not to worry, Marius. <sighs> I'm glad to be back in my old hamlet. Although, it seems to have aged about as gracefully as I have over the years. I beg to differ, sir. It's quite dilapidated, unlike your good self, but at least it's safe now. Thanks in part to Henry here, who also saved me from a predicament that cost me valuable time. Who knows, if it hadn't been for him, we might not even be talking now. Well, lad, in the end, you managed things in your own way, I see. Just as you said you would. I did my best, sir. They didn't look all that tough, so I put a bit of pressure on them and they took to their heels. You were outnumbered and you scared them off? Yeah, they were greenhorns. I think they may have been a bit intimidated by me. Let's hope they don't try anything like that again. I'm quite sure they won't, sir. Let's get down to the matter in hand, shall we? What state is Pribislavitz in? Sir, in my official capacity as locator, I am gratified to inform you that the hamlet of Pribislavitz may be renewed. And indeed it offers prospects of considerable expansion beyond its former limits. Splendid! Finally, some good news for this province. Well, I'm badly needed, too. So, what have you discovered so far? I want to know all the details. We had a scout around. We conducted a basic survey, from which we can make a preliminary outline of the passes. I already have in my head an initial plan of what can be built where. We should certainly have a church. I'd like to preserve the existing one. That should present no serious obstacles. The building is in much better condition than we anticipated. But extensive reconstruction will be required. That's to be expected. Uh, there's a stream here, and a well, right in the middle of the village. Yes, and there are abundant woods around. Clearing them will provide both extra land and timber supplies that we can use right away. Right now, I believe we're standing on the village green, aren't we? The future green, that is. The village centre will comprise at least six large buildings to begin with. We can't fit any more than that here. So there will be other buildings away from the square, in particular more extensive structures. I'm glad to hear it. I never expected you'd find so much space here in the middle of the woods. The building work we're about to engage in is only the first part of my plan. Later, we'll clear more forests for agricultural land, and build more farmhouses. But, for now, we'll have to focus on more sensible goals. As you wish, my lord. But rebuilding a whole village must cost a king's ransom, though. It's true it won't come cheap. Before the tradesmen settle here and start producing and trading, it will be necessary to invest a certain amount of capital. A certain amount? How much, exactly? I wouldn't venture to state a precise amount at this point, but I expect it will come to some thousands, even tens of thousands of Groschen. Well, that much? I hope you're good at haggling. We shall, of course, attempt to procure everything at the best possible price, but raising a settlement from the ashes you see around you is a costly business. Nevertheless, I can assure you, my lord, that if all goes well, the investment shall all come back to you with interest. I hope I shall live to enjoy it, Master Marius. A village isn't a village without villagers. You'll need new subjects. Even preparing the ground for a building will need lots of labour. Where can we find so many people, sir? You sound sceptical, lad, but it's a good question. I've already given it some thought. I've agreed with Radzik and Hanish that we shall make an announcement in Rate to invite people to move here and help with the construction, which will bring them many benefits, but also obligations. In addition, I expect the prospects of a new home will appeal to your former Scalitz neighbors more than a makeshift camp by the castle walls. They'll be delighted, sir. A splendid solution, sir. I've also been concerned about how to bring settlers here. But now it seems there will be no shortage of new inhabitants after all.
It seems things are finally looking up. We routed the bandits in battle, and Henry took care of the remnants. When can we get to work? Right away, as far as I'm concerned. All we need is people and the necessary funds. And we'll need someone to keep order, at least in the interim. True. I'll leave you some of my men. If I may, I would recommend quickly appointing a bailiff to take responsibility for the renewal of the village, its coffers and its citizens. True. Hmm. First things first. Since you understand these matters best, you shall take charge of the land parceling and building works. You'll be available to the bailiff, but answerable directly to me. I'd be honored, sir. Thank you. And... As regards the office of bailiff, what about you, Henry? Yes, sir. You've proven yourself well. You've demonstrated that you're capable of solving problems, and you command the respect of your former Scalit's neighbors. Well, I'm not so sure. And you're also capable of maintaining law and order. I must concur. So, let us expedite matters. Henry? I hereby appoint you to the office of Bailiff of the Hamlet of Pribislavitz in my domain. My lord, it's a great honor. Thank you. You will oversee the initial renewal and administration of the village that will set the ground for further development. <laughs> but don't imagine it'll be a bed of roses, lad. Being Bailiff doesn't mean you can do whatever you like. And if you don't treat the settlers rightly, I'll soon find out and relieve you of your office. Besides, we can't spare a single Groschen from the Talmberg coffers now, with the province in chaos. So, you'll have to cover the cost for the building work from your own purse. Me? But Marius said it would cost a fortune. True. But from what I hear, you know how to get your hands on coin enough. So, I expect you'll manage it just fine. <laughs> I'd like to know who's been spreading such gossip. And I am assigning you certain specific tasks. You must ensure the rebuilding of the church. That means complete reconstruction, wall paintings, and a new altar. See to it that in the future, the village will be capable of supporting a certain number of people. For that, you will need to ensure the construction of essential artisans' buildings. And ultimately, the village must produce sufficient earnings to fund further expansion. But, sir, I've never done... I understand your concerns, but you'll be handsomely rewarded. I shall grant you the proceeds from the whole village for the first five years, and you have my permission to use the surrounding woods and land as you see fit. Well, that's, um... I mean... Are you sure I'm the right man for the job, sir? It's a lot of responsibility. As you said yourself, Henry, it's a great honour. Besides, you won't be alone in it. I'll assist you and supervise the construction work. Phew. All right, then. So, we're agreed. You'll give this document to the Rite Bailiff. He'll make the announcement to invite settlers, which should ensure enough people to begin work. At the same time, your official appointment as Bailiff will be announced. I don't know what to say, sir. I'm sure you won't disappoint me, Henry. And now I must get back to my duties at Townburg. Send word when everything is prepared. Certainly, sir. Have a safe journey. Farewell, sir. Далее бежим к Рихстаржу в Ротае, где он объявит народу появление нового поселения. I have a document for you from Sir Divish. It concerns the renewal of Pribislavitz. The village you drove those bandits out of? Very same. So it's true then. Good. Good. Let me see that document then. Here it is. So what have we here? Hmm. 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 It says I should announce that anyone interested may move to Pribislavitz to live and work. And Sir Radzik and Sir Hanush also give their consent. Hmm. In that case, let's not waste any time. Come along with me. Take care. Hear ye, hear ye. It is hereby announced, in the name of Sir Hanush and Sir Divish, that you, the citizens of Ratai, as well as those who have found temporary refuge here, 
are permitted to move to the hamlet of Pribislavitz, to the north of Tomberg Castle, wherein you shall be vouchsafed a new life and new dwellings, providing that you shall contribute to the renewal of the hamlet. All those who choose to accept this offer shall be exempted from payment of taxes for a period of five years. They shall be permitted also to make use of timber from the surrounding woods and water from the streams. The hamlet of Pribislavitz lies in the domain of Sir Divish of Talmberg, and all who settle there shall be duty-bound to him. It is furthermore hereby announced that Henry of Skalitz is appointed to the administration of Pribislavitz and the office of bailiff therein which office and privilege have been conferred upon him by Sir Divish for loyalty and services rendered. I would therefore recommend that our Scarlet's friends consider this offer very seriously, as nothing better is likely to come your way anytime soon. Теперь возвращаемся в Прибыславицу и можем приступать к постройке. Если вы в основной игре собирали деньги, у вас накопилось около 80 тысяч монет, то считайте, вы уже прошли это дополнение. И вот здесь вся радость от дополнения сводится к нулю. Ведь управление поселением очень упрощено. Строим здание, и оно приносит либо ресурс для другого здания, либо деньги. Никаких набегов, никаких расширений, никаких взаимоотношений с другими поселениями. И даже выбора места постройки. Иногда возникает квест, где нужно решить спор, но ответ очевиден, и при нейтральных решениях на игровой процесс не влияет. Welcome back. What news from Ratai? Well, the bailiff read Sir Divish's decree, and now I'm officially bailiff of Pribislavitz. Then allow me to congratulate you. What will be your first step? First, I'll, um, I'll, uh, hmm. Actually, I'm not quite sure. What would you recommend? As it happens, I already saw to a few things in your absence. You might have noticed that the first people have come from Ratai. Yeah, I saw some heading here right away. So when they arrived, I was able to start clearing building plots with them. After they directed some temporary dwellings, that is. So we're ready to get things started? As long as you know what you want to build, I can show these new people what to do. We'll be building on the sites we've measured out. You can go and look them over first, if you like. I'll do that. I'll see what's going to be built where. Nevertheless, I doubt you'll be able to figure that out just from looking at the sites. How do I choose what to build where? I've already given it some thought on your behalf. I even wrote it all down in the accounts ledger. Everything will be recorded there. I'll make a note of every change as we proceed. Thanks. That'll be a big help. And where can I find this book? It will always be kept at the Rat House. What about the workers' wages and buying materials for artisans? The money must be put in the trunk here. The expenditures for wages and materials will be taken from it, so you should keep it topped up to prevent delays. It reminds me, there's the matter of my own pay to be resolved. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Sir Divish guaranteed me a fixed income. What's more, this job is an exceptionally big one. I see. But how much are you thinking? I have a record of payment here somewhere. Hmm. Here it is. Let's say one quarter more than that. I can't afford that much. At least not now, right at the start. But I do need your help. 
How about this much? That's a fair offer. It seems we understand each other. I agree. Good. I'll put your wages in the trunk, too. Are you sure it's quite safe? Quite. Only you and I shall have a key and access to the trunk. Besides, we'll have guards on watch here. Ah, that's reassuring. That's about all to begin with. If you need any more details, I'll be happy to explain things to you. So, how am I doing with the village? Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. You're still far from having the income you need to make the village prosper. Hmm. Well, the village isn't ready yet for the expansion Sir Divish is planning. The church is still in ruins. Doesn't create a good impression. We're on the right track, but we haven't reached the end yet. All right, I'll get stuck in. I want to build something. Certainly, Master Bailiff. What's it to be? Let's start repairing the church. It's impossible. Check what you need in the ledger. I'd rather not build anything just now. Для полной радости нам нужно всего сто тысяч монет, но набрать их будет несложно. Первым делом я построил лагерь для сорубов. Без него никуда. We're going to build here. Right here. Ready to start? I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. We've still got the means. We'll get stuck in then. Затем построил пасеку, улучшил мост, который обязателен для постройки лавки торговца, и саму лавку торговца. Вот и основа заложена. Кстати, будьте внимательны и не затягивайте с постройкой зданий, которые приносят вам деньги, так как сейчас строилось все то, что потребляет деньги, а вычитываются они из казны каждый день. Поэтому не затягиваем и начинаем поставки ресурсов. И тут приходит еще одно разочарование, так как поставками и защитой поставок занимаемся не мы. Нам нужно только прийти в условное место и дать денег. На этом все. Самое дешевое – наладить поставки зерна и скота. Я выбрал и то, и другое, просто для того, чтобы выполнить квест. Но построить мы можем либо мясную лавку, либо пекарню. He put you in charge of hauling grain. No, he, um, look, it doesn't matter. Can we buy from you? It's all the same to me. I can let you have some of the crop. How much do you need? Well, I'll need uh, fodder for horses, at least ten strong animals, and wheat for the baker. He'll have to bake for the whole village. My word. You must be a trustworthy wagoner if his lordship trusts you with a deal like that. Yeah, that's me. How are you going to haul it from here? I've arranged it with a merchant who does just this kind of work. I don't mind sending you part of our crop, but it'll cost something. Uh, 
Oh, that's a reasonable price. We'll shake on it then. Goodbye. Немного дороже обойдется нам поставка угля, и самое дорогое – это тальмберское зерно. Да, оно настолько суровое, что из него можно получить камень. Очередная ошибка в переводе. Прежде чем идти туда, прихватите с собой 4000 монет, или 3000, если навык общения прокачан. I'm looking for the overseer of this quarry. Would that be you, Goodman? Aye, that's me. What can I do for you? Sir Divish has decided to rebuild Privis Labitz, and he's entrusted me to take charge, along with his locator. Aha, uh -huh. so it's you. I heard about Sir Divish's plans. What is it you need, then? Well, we've started with the reconstruction work, but we need more than just timber. Do you need stone for the construction? Exactly. And for repairing the church. Well now, you're really not doing things by halves, are you? The thing is, though, we're already working flat out supplying stone for the monastery construction in Sassau. I can't cut back on their supplies, so Divish wouldn't be at all pleased. But I really need that stone. Well, I suppose I could try and hire a few more quarrymen to increase production. But we can't transport it. Even Sassau sends their own wagon here. Have you got someone to carry the stone? I've got my own merchant. He'll take care of it with his hired hands. Splendid! So let's talk about the price. The stone is for Sir Divish. It's for a village he wants to rebuild as quickly as possible. I doubt he'd take it well that the overseer of his own quarry is overcharging him for it. Well... You have a point. I'll take that into account in the price. Наладили все поставки и можем начинать достраивать. Ресурс теперь не закончится, а главное построить здание, которое приносит деньги. Самое главное это таверна и пекарня, ну или местная лавка. I want to build something. Certainly, master. Oh, we don't have a tavern here yet. People need to wash the dust down after a hard day's work. Let's go to the site. I'll see to the... После постройки улучшения всего возможного, к нам опять приедет Пан Девиш поблагодарить за хорошую работу и выполнение закончилось. Сэр Девиш, я закончил задание, которое ты мне дал. Прибис Лавиц уже работает снова, и зарабатывает деньги. И церковь так же, как новая. Да, это отличная новость. Я не могу ждать, чтобы посмотреть это для себя. Конечно, мы можем идти сразу. Хорошего удовольствия. Добро пожаловать в Прибис well now, I've heard some reports, but to see it with my own two eyes, beautiful. Me and Marius did our best. As you saw on the way here, the village is prospering, trade is booming, and the villagers are doing well. I saw the new buildings as we were riding in. You've both done a magnificent job. I owe you my gratitude and commendation. Thank you, sir. How did you manage it so quickly? We had to clear the woods and the ruins of the former buildings. I arranged supplies of building materials and victuals from traders nearby. Thanks to which we were able to build what you see here today. And the church here has become the dominant feature of the whole village. I'm especially proud of our church. Indeed, you have plenty to be proud of. Thank you both. I can say wholeheartedly that you have not disappointed me. On the contrary, 
You have exceeded my expectations. It's been an honor. I quite concur. Master Marius, I'd like you to stay on in the village. As soon as things have settled in the province, we can begin with the expansion as planned. As you wish, my lord. As for you, Henry, as I promised, you shall continue to have the income from the village, as well as the bailiff's office. Thank you, my lord. I thank you, Henry. Few could manage what the two of you have achieved here. Если будут еще какие-то дополнения, то теперь у вас есть своя казна, откуда можно брать немереное количество денег. Есть еще новые лошади и игры в кости, но я уже не вдавался в эти мелочи. Так что решайте сами, стоит ли покупать этот DLC. Стоит копейки, но и заняться здесь особо нечем. this time. Um, we have a problem with water, that is, with the stream, with the uh, use of the stream. The stream? What seems to be the trouble? Sir, they won't let me have a shit. Um, <laughs> what, what's that? Your locator here won't let people go for a shit. God, give me strength. Um, <laughs> Master Locator, would, uh, would you be so kind as to cast some light on the matter? I never forbade anyone to sh... to defecate. It's not something that can be prohibited anyway. You did so. All I asked was that people did their... business further downstream. After all, we don't want our water supply contaminated. It could cause disease. What do you suggest, Master Marius? Let the people answer the call of nature at least 100 feet downstream from the village. What? That far? What if I get the runs? I'd shoot myself before getting there. I've decided. Defecating will only be allowed at least 100 feet from the village. But, sir... A wise decision, Henry. Well, finally we have permission to go and shit again. I'll go and tell the fellows we can go to the stream. It's been a tough few days. You mean you haven't been since... No, don't say it. I don't even want to know. 